Hello, everyone. I'm Pastor Mike, and I'm so happy to be able to share this week's devotion with you. I've entitled it, Are You Staring or Preparing? In the little church I grew up in, I sadly must say that I spent quite a bit of time sitting in the front with the youth and uh, staring at the ceiling. And I can just imagine that the families and the people behind me were just thinking, what is this Kanji kid doing? And uh, I was doing more than staring at the ceiling. I was counting ceiling tiles <laughs> and when I should have been listening. And so how many of us today are preoccupied with so many other things, sometimes right in the middle of church services and in life, and we are putting the preparing aside for later. I want to talk to you today about a parable that Jesus taught us uh, about the ten virgins or the ten bridesmaids, depending on the Bible uh, translation you're using. But this can be found in Matthew 25, starting at verse 1. At that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five of them were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps, but they did not take any oil with them. The wise ones, however, took oil in their jars. <laughs> the bridegroom was long time in coming, and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, the cry ran, rang out, Here's the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up, trimmed their lamps, and the foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil. Our lamps are going out. <laughs> no, they replied, there may not be enough for both us and you. Instead, go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet, and the door was shut. Later, the others they also came, saying, Lord, Lord, Open the door for us. But he replied, Truly I tell you, I don't know you. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. I want to look at some points, facts in this parable. And what we can see here is there are five wise virgins and five foolish ones. All were waiting for the bridegroom to come. And all fell asleep while they were waiting. And when the bridegroom came, they all woke up and they trimmed their lamps. But the five foolish ran out of oil and asked the wise ones for some. But the oil, this oil can only come from one source. So the foolish ones went out looking for the oil. You know, more than 200 times that oil is used in the Bible, it's a connection, a metaphor of the Holy Spirit's presence. Bottom line, the foolish ones were not ready for the bridegroom. They were troubled about the oil too late. Then here comes the big shocker. The foolish ones finally arrive at the wedding banquet, and Jesus tells them, Truly I tell you, I don't know you. Jesus also says in John chapter 10, verse 27, My sheep, they hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Friends, may we not be the ones, the foolish ones, that are trying to buy the oil too late when Christ recomes. But let's take time today to fill our lives with the Holy Spirit. Spend time with God each and every day, keeping our lives filled with the Holy Spirit. Waiting and watching with joy and anticipation for the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So the question, are you staring or preparing? Let's pray. So Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word that is life to us, that is encouragement to us. And Lord, I just pray that you would help each and every one that is listening and watching this message, that they would be inviting you more and more into our lives, into our lives today, Lord. Holy Spirit, come. Come again and fill us. Come again and, and direct us and teach us and guide us and encourage us. And so, Lord, uh, I pray you would do exactly that, that we would be the ones that would be wise, waiting and watching with anticipation for your return for your church. 
We ask this in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Be blessed, everybody.